Welcome back, investors, to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam, and NEO, a Chinese-based electric vehicle maker, is driving in reverse today despite posting Q1 results that topped expectations. The company's upside results were sparked by a 28.5% year-over-year increase in deliveries to 25,768 vehicles, illustrating that demand for EVs remains robust in China even though the economy there deals with the fallout from strict lockdown measures. However, those widespread lockdowns have crippled NEO's supply chain, and the associated impact from that is just now being felt. So, NEO had to issue downside Q2 revenue guidance while forecasting deliveries of 23,000 to 25,000, representing a 7% quarterly drop at the midpoint. Now, before we dive any deeper, I have to share this good news with you. Webull, for its fourth birthday party celebration, is giving you six free stocks valued up to $12,600 just for opening an account and depositing any amount. This is one of the best ROIs or return on your investments that you could possibly get. So open an account, deposit any amount, and get your six free stocks just click the link in the description of this video and you're off to a great start on your investor journey. All right, let's get back into it. Now, two main competitors in China, Li Auto and Xping, are trading lower right now, right along with NIO. Notably, Tesla is bucking that weakness in the EV market, thanks in part to an upgrade at UBS, which lifted its rating to buy from a hold. Bloomberg also reported that Tesla's production at its Shanghai factory in May soared by over 200% to 33,544 vehicles, highlighting its remarkable ability to consistently overcome supply chain disruptions. Tesla has clearly established a more resilient supply chain and has won favor with the PCR government there which likely views Tesla as an instrumental part of attaining its goal of reaching 40% of its vehicles sold in China being electric by 2035. While NEO is growing quickly, it doesn't have Tesla's clout, scale, or its premier manufacturing efficiencies. This is apparent in NEO's vehicle margin sliding by 310 basis points year over year to 18.1%. While Tesla's Q1 automotive gross margin expanded by 636 basis points to 32.9%, there's really no comparison here. Now, looking ahead, NEO plans to ramp up production capacity by working closer with its supply chain partners. Of course, that's easier said than done. But if NEO can boost its production, its vehicle margins should improve too. The company also plans to roll out a new five-seat mid-to-large SUV called the ES7 later this month, with deliveries slated for late August. Now, the ES7 should carry a higher ASP than NEO's sedans, the ET5 and the ET7, providing a favorable shift in product mix down the road. The main takeaway is that while demand for EVs remains brisk in China, supply chain issues are creating a major roadblock for NEO and other up-and-coming EV makers. Tesla isn't immune to these headwinds either, but its scale, ingenuity, and prominence in China are providing it with a competitive edge. China's zero-COVID policy and the economic impact of lockdowns makes me cautious on NEO, Li Auto, and Xping although the Chinese government's prioritization to expand EV production does help to insulate these companies a little bit. What do you think about NEO and its future? Let me know in the comments below, as your comments help us all to better understand. And do me a favor, click that like button, share this video, and join us in beating this crazy market by clicking the first link in the description. We'd love to see you there. And if it's your first time watching, click subscribe. For Ticker Time News, I'm Adam. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.